Hi, today I want to talk about some of my ideas surrounding why people get interested in studying physics or wanting to be a physicist in the first place. Now this is just going to be my opinions, so you can let me know how relatable this is. But essentially I think that if you look around you know, a physics class, people that are majoring in physics, you will find maybe more so than many other you know, subjects that the people in this class are really inspired, driven and, and passionate about studying physics and wanting to be a physicist. There will be some people there who I guess have just taken the class because they needed to fill a spot. But I think for the most part, physics really attracts people who I guess feel destined to study physics. And I think I wonder a little bit about why this is and I think about my own journey to wanting to pursue physics and to be a physicist. And I think one of the things that contribute to it is that people really do like the challenge and the challenge comes from physics reputation as being quite difficult. When I learnt about physics for the first time it was reading books about you know, famous um, physicists, whether it's like Albert Einstein or Richard Feynman, something like that, and some of the contributions they've made over the history of science. And maybe it takes a little bit of arrogance on my part, or maybe it's just a bit of confidence to read about these discoveries and think, I would like to have my name added to this list. Like, I would like to make some contribution that's in line with the contribution that these people have made because I just admired them so much. I think it's natural for anyone to want to make some kind of contribution to the world and for people to want to be remembered. And I think wanting to be remembered or have your name down amongst the greats in like a book about the history of science is one of the best ways I could imagine being remembered. Like I said, maybe it does take a certain level of confidence to want to read about this stuff and think that you're good enough or smart enough to even, you know, comprehend or contribute to these things. But maybe that confidence is what you need and is probably a good thing to motivate you through all the difficult studying. I also think it's why physics attracts people that do, you know, quite well academically. I think it's a bit of a positive feedback loop. Like if you're at school, say, and you're doing well in your classes on math and science, you kind of, you know, your ego gets a little inflated and you think you're, you're just good at this stuff. So what should someone do if they are good at this stuff? Well, they should pursue maybe being the best at this stuff. And maybe that naturally leads people who do well at in some of these classes to want to pursue being a physicist, because I think it's seen as, you know, one of, you know, the pinnacles of the field. I think it's also natural for people to like challenging themselves a bit. Maybe if even if you don't truly believe you're ever going to win a Nobel Prize, I think, you know, it'd be hard to find any aspiring physics student who wouldn't like that idea, you know, like the idea of doing something really great within physics. Um, and like, I think it's just human psychology. If you just are, you know, in a social gathering and you have some riddle maybe that you pose for people to want to try and attempt or solve, I think you'll have people just wanting to work on it. And you'll find some people who get really obsessed with it and wanting to solve the problem that you're posing to them, um, whether it's to prove that they are smart or just to flex, you know, their mental abilities. I think it's just a natural thing for people to enjoy challenges and like academic challenges and puzzles are very much a part of physics and being a physicist. I spoke about reading books about like the history of science um, and I guess this is just my experience but when I read those books and whenever I do read a book about awesome stuff going on in science or even just articles about it my natural feeling is to think I would like to be a part of this. Like when I re read about mysteries and unsolved problems in phys physics, I feel like I want to be a part of solving it. I guess I would find it hard to just read the information and be happy with having no part in wanting to pursue the answer. But I guess a lot of people do feel that way because there's many more people reading about science discoveries and interested in them than there are 
people actually actively pursuing physics and maybe that just comes down to I guess maybe their own opportunities maybe everyone who does read these articles would like to be a physicist but I guess it's not possible if you've already got a career in something else you're already in some other direction I guess there is a sweet spot of you know being inspired and being able to pursue it that maybe I was lucky to just be swept along with but yeah definitely whenever I read about physics I, I feel this urge to be a part of it. In saying that I don't really know like if I ever will make a contribution because right now I'm pursuing things like science communication more than I am pursuing trying to make some discovery um, but we'll see what happens in a few years. I guess I don't really know what my future holds. This is just, I know my feelings that have gotten me this far. Another aspect that I think contributes to people feeling destined to study physics is that physics relates to trying to understand the nature of reality. Like I don't want to sound too like off in the clouds when I'm talking like that, but that inherently to me still is what physics is about. It's trying to gain some answers from this vast sea of just unknown because I think for maybe some people who study physics it is their religion and it becomes that. I think people are attracted to you know typical religion because it takes this very confusing world where we have no answers and nothing really makes sense and it gives some like glint of meaning or you know, a comfort and understanding what this is all about and what will be here after we're gone. And whilst you can definitely be religious and a physicist, for some people, physics becomes the only religion that they have, the only, you know, glint of meaning um, amongst all this, you know, stuff going on in the world. I think almost when you think about physics, uh, and you think about pursuing some of these really big questions and, you know, this really, you know, fundamental truth of what the world is, everything else and every other topic can seem mundane and too terrestrial in a way. Um, I have definitely felt in the past like, you know, physics is the only thing worth studying and everything else is just a waste of time. Like even just doing random chores I'm like this is such a waste of time when we could be you know really looking for answers but maybe I've calmed down a little bit about those thoughts I think you know definitely you can be happy studying something other than physics or just doing something else entirely um, but maybe for me my fulfillment does come from never losing track of thinking about some of these things thinking about you know, what the world is made of and thinking about things um, from the, I guess, point of view as a physicist. But yeah, that, that aspect of physics, I think, really does contribute to people feeling like they're destined to study it because they can't imagine themselves doing anything else. They, nothing else provides them with that same fulfillment. And all of these things that I've said are a great advocate for physics. But they can also lead to great disappointment. I mean, if you're going into this thinking that you're going to be the next Einstein, that you're going to win a Nobel Prize, which actually I know many students, you know, they, they have this wish in their mind and they want to work towards it. It means you've got really high expectations and it means that whatever the reality is that you achieve, maybe it's not going to live up to those expectations. And that lends itself to, you know, room for a lot of disappointment and maybe unhappiness from never fulfilling expectations. Um, I guess this is a bit of a different thread, but my personal philosophy is that happiness and expectations are very related to each other. And so the higher you have your expectations, whilst it can motivate you to do things you might not otherwise be doing, it's probably not the best road to happiness. Um, that's just my thoughts around that. So I guess it's a little bit dangerous to, to think you're going to get a Nobel Prize and you're going to have your name recorded in history alongside some of your heroes and the people that have inspired you. But I don't think that should really discourage anyone from at least giving it a go. Let me know what you think if you're on this road as well of wanting to be a physicist. 
Um, are you setting your expectations pretty high for yourself? Um, or, you know, how did you even get this idea of pursuing it in the first place? I'd like to take a chance to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring my channel. If you're wanting to pursue physics or even maths and other aspects of science, Brilliant is a great place to go. Uh, it's a resource where you could take quizzes, courses. They have also a lot of animations and great explanations of some of these science concepts that I think are helpful for people wanting to learn this content, especially if you're just learning on your own. Brilliant also have a mobile app and you can download courses to take them offline. So if you're traveling or on the go, you can still keep up with learning and it's probably more productive than doing something like scrolling through Instagram. So thank you to Brilliant and if you would like to sign up for free you can go to brilliant.org slash tibbies and the first 200 people to follow that link can get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.